Hello everyone, and thank you for joining us for this episode of Indie Power Hour. Today we are playing Antenna Dilemma. This is a point-and-click adventure game which is set in a dystopian world obsessed with television. Oddly enough, all the characters are shapes, and they all love deadpan humor. To play the game, you'll interact with the objects around you and solve puzzles. That's all I got for now. Let's just jump right into the game, everyone. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us for this episode of Indie Power Hour. I am your host, Chloe, and we are going to be taking a look today at Antenna Dilemma. You can't see the words because then uh, it's being blocked by my face camera, but it says Antenna Dilemma. This is a, a game, it's a point and click game by one of my friends, um, Golasso Games. Um, he's a pretty great guy. Um, he offered me a free kind of uh, key for the game, so I'm really excited to check it out today. I've heard a lot of buzz about it. I've heard Oh, oh god, I have to move my, my cam. Okay. Sorry! <laughs> oh god. Okay. Ooh, those noises. The sound ending's pretty cool. Um, the first one of his games that I played was actually the demo for Inspector Waffles. Um, and I think I played that about a year ago. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it was about when I uh, first started uh, my channel and was playing one game one minute on my own. Um, so, only one hour to go till Should I Open the Box comes on. Man, I love that show. Isn't that, isn't that basically deal or no deal? Okay. But there's nothing else on right now. What, what is uh, all this rubbish? Unboxing stuff. Think outside the box. I'm going to adjust my camera again. Now I'm tinier. Okay. Um, unboxing stuff. Think outside the box commercials. Seriously, who's still watching Keeping Up with the Scordashians? I have 200 TV channels on this thing and still nothing on. Come on, there must be something. Whoa, what the hell was that? No, no, no. All oh, the TV's gone wrong. I can't miss my favorite show. I've never missed a single episode. This is a disaster. I know that feel. Square eyes. Ooh. Exciting. Okay, don't panic. What's the procedure again? Procedure 4P23.1 and I take care of it myself? Or procedure 3P12.7 and I call the emergency services? I don't remember. You don't call emergency services to fix your television? What's wrong with you? Hmm, maybe there's a clue hidden somewhere around the TV. Um, nothing but static. I bet the attendant's been damaged. I need to get it fixed. A clue around the TV. All my old videotapes are in there. Ooh, old videotapes. Oh, I, my mind was in the gutter. I apologize, that's not what I was thinking. Okay. Oh, some cash stuck between Raiders of the Lost Box and the Square, square Minator. I better bring this with me. I might need some money to get my TV repaired. What's the black box? This little black box gives everyone so many ch channels to watch on TV. And it's totally free. The dice gives them away to everyone. Man, our leader is such a wonderful person. On the front side of the box, there's a small label. In the event of emergency, call 2102. So we're a box person? That's adorable. My personal collection of cubes. Light gray, mid gray, dark gray, all the colors of the rainbow. It's a symbol of my support for the way our di the dice governs our town. This is an old picture of my parents. C321234 and C352345. I should visit them more often, but there's so much good stuff on TV I never find the time. Yeah, buddy, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I don't visit my parents as often as I probably should either. Nine. One. <laughs> oh, that's a pause button. Um, can I go back? Escape. Zero. Okay. Uh, sticky notes. A brand new pack of sticky notes. These will come in handy if I need to write something down later. Boxes, black box, okay. I am. Okay, we gotta go out in the hood. I have no idea where to go. What do you mean? Girl! I mean, boy, I mean, you probably don't have a gender. Um. Sticky notes. Sticky, sticky, sticky notes. I don't understand. Ooh. Okay, but but what do you want me to do, man? About that. Um 
I don't know if I can get him to move to like another area or something. Maybe I need to look at the controls. What? 2102 antenna emergency. Oh. No, I exited out of the game. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, um, 2102. Help! My TV's broken, Comcast. Hello, you've reached a television emergency. Television emergency sports service, how can I help you? Hello, this is the C432632. Listen, you need to help me, quick, it's an emergency. My television's not working, and there's less than an hour until my favorite show starts. Oh dear, sounds like a damaged antenna. This is a real emergency. Will you be able to get to your local TV retail store and back in time? Yes, it's just down the street. Just head down there and ask them to perform an F4.23. They'll know what to do. Thanks for your help, I'm going right away. What? Did you have to- Pizza advertisement? It's an advert, advert for Papa C371856's Pizzeria. They really do make good pizza. Call 7499 for the best pizza in town. My favorite is the Pizza Square in Era. So good, and it's even better at home. Paired with a good TV show. I'm so lucky to have a billboard in front of my house. 7499. I'm gonna go back and order your pizza. <laughs> hey, I know that getting my channel back up and running is important, but I'm also hungry. Hello, you've reached. How can I help you? Hi, can I get a large square and narrow with extra ham cubes, please? Oh, I'm sorry. We just stopped delivering for the day. Oh, no, really? Why? Our favorite show will start soon. We don't want to miss it. Oh, I understand. It's a little bit late. Have a good day. Thanks for understanding. I got an achievement for that. <laughs> God, I was just being a dork. I'm so sad. I wanted a pizza. Man, you guys have never heard of TiVo? Like, no meal today. I'm still waiting for this month's issue of Square Magazine to arrive. All right. All right. Uh, intercom? Hello. Who are you and what do you want? You better have a damn good reason to be disturbing me when I'm trying to watch TV. It's your neighbor. Listen, my TV is broken. I just need to get onto the roof to fix it, but I need to go through your house to get up there. How do I know you're not a thief? Do you have any documents or anything? I bet you're not even a licensed technician. I'm not trying to rob you, but no, I don't have any documents. Please just hear me out. Sorry, but no one gets into my house without the appropriate paperwork. Goodbye. He hung up. Hmm. I better find a way to get him to believe I'm a technician. Okay, so we're going to the antennas. TV ad. An absolute megastar. They call him the TV king. He's sold thousands of TVs in his life. I'm usually not a fan of celebrities, but he does seem like a nice guy. Every year he does a huge giveaway, donating televisions to the poor. The dice does so much for us. The whole town was built to allow us to watch TV in peace. That's so nice. Once you open the box, you just can't stop. Man, just looking at this makes me hungry. I love chips, but I can't eat them if I want to stay in shape. I worked hard for these edges. This billboard has fallen over. According to the law S3.45, you can take anything lying around the ground provided no one is interested in taking it. Hmm, how do we make sure no one is interested? Hello? Does anybody want this metal bar I've just found? No one? Okay, this metal bar is mine now. <laughs> okay, I think we're going. Hey, what are you doing here? You should be at home watching TV. My antenna is broken. Something fell on my house. Call the emergency hotline. That's no excuse to be wandering on the neighborhood in the middle of the day. Okay, sorry to disturb you. Just get going. I don't want to miss my show. But I was told to go- I'm upset. I'm upset. I'm upset. You told me to- I'm gonna- Oh, I see. Four, five, three, four. That's interesting. You can do anything within your power to make your make your TV work again. Okay, so let me check. Um, my neighbor four, five, three, four.
Hello, hello. I have no idea what to say to my neighbor. Let's see. 2102 antenna emergency. Okay. But but we can't go anywhere. Do I need to bribe the guy to let me through? I'm going to go bribe him. I'm going to go back and I'm going to bribe the shit out of him. But we need to bribe him. Uh, oh, there's another place to go. I'm an idiot. Okay. Okay. Help me. Help me fix my television. Hello, anyone who can help me? Anyone? Hmm, the place is deserted. Well, aside from this box trail, I guess he's guarding the shop. Well, I'm on my own. I need to find a way to watch TV anyway. I don't have any robberies around here. Shops feel so safe they don't even bother put with putting any security in the cash register. So there's some spare change here, but I'm not a thief, thief, so I'll leave it behind. Well, that's a pretty good discount. I should get one just as soon as I've saved up some money. And got the antenna fixed, of course. I can't reach it. The box turtle's in the way. Oh, he sounds angry. I bet he hasn't been fed yet today. Maybe if I get him some food, he'll let me pass. Okay. What if I go in here? I come here to get my shirt. What? Well, well, you're gonna have to buy salad from this vending machine. Are you kidding me? It only takes coins. That is not a surprise, but I'm still mad. Can I go? Is there is there some place I can go to get like some change? I need to order a pizza. It's an emergency. Okay. Like, it's an emergency at this point to order a pizza. Because what else is the thing going to eat? Are they just going to tell me the same thing? Oh, they are. Dumb. Ugh. They're dumb. Who the hell stops ordering pizza? That should be a crime. That should be a crime, if anything. clicked on everything here. I've clickety clickety clacked. Okay, let me knock on the door to my neighbor's house. No? I don't know, man. Let's... I'm having a hard time trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do. This is always my problem when it comes to point and click games. <laughs> feel safe in this town. Can I give you money? Will you eat that? Will you eat metal? Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I got an achievement for that too. But how am I supposed to get? Oh. Oh my god, I get it now. That took me a while. Oh my god, what the hell? So I gotta order this poor thing a salad? Oh, I, get, I need to beat the shit out of it. Okay. According to the law, 2F3.9, if someone steals something from you, you can steal it back no matter the cost. Well, it looks like it's going to cost this machine a window. That was kind of a bad thing to have done, destroying a vending machine just to get a piece of salad. I should leave an excuse note. 
Sorry for breaking the vending machine window, but it stole money from me. According to the law, I can do anything within my power to steal it back. Sorry for the inconvenience, but I'm within my rights. Kind regards. Interesting. Okay. You want a salad, buddy? You want a salad? Take this salad. Come on, turtles like salad, I think. Yes, he's eating it. Good boy, we're friends now, right? Slosh, slosh. Poor guy must have been starving. Replacement antenna for use in case of emergency only. Well, it told me to get what I needed from here, and I need this. Once it's been installed on the roof, all my problems will be over. According to the emergency service, I can borrow an antenna without leaving an excuse note. Government order for T2.9. Ooh, I'm a real bad guy. I'm a rebel without a cause. Procedure. This is procedure, so I'll have to do... Okay, I require access to your roof to fix a broken antenna. People have to let me in their house if I say that. It would be easy for a technician to rob someone. Oh, I, I don't have to wear it. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go back. And we're gonna be like, I am within my legal rights to do this. So this is a very interesting, this is kind of, this is definitely like a dystopian society. Um, and maybe it's about, we're kind of learning about how this little box here decides to kind of go against the, what the heck? Well then beat his ass. Oh, <laughs> I'm confused. It doesn't make sense. You don't make sense. So now I have to, I think I got to call the neighbor again. Uh, 4534. Please. My neighbor won't let me. Well. Well. Put it on, mate. Okay. Hello, I'm the technician you spoke to earlier. Just need to- Yes, yes, I knew we are. Just be quick about it. Sure, no problem. I better move fast. My show will be starting soon. Okay. Where am I? Gap. Uh, the metal bar. The metal bar! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so smart. Well, what the heck? What am I supposed to get? I need something longer. Can I use the antenna to walk across and then... <laughs> Two six seven six. Huh, okay. Two six seven six. So I gotta find something that'll help me walk across, and it's not the metal bar. Okay. Welcome to the cube club. You must be 18 or older to continue. Oh. Oh. It was, it was, it was smut. Okay. Well, what do I need to do? I can't, I don't think I can go anywhere else in his house. nothing else I can really do. Um. Two, six, seven, six. Okay. 
Let's go back, um, maybe to the junk pile and there's gonna be another one? Well... Okay. Um... Point and click games require me to use my brain, okay? It's hard for me. Is there- is there something in here that I can use? It. I think I am supposed to use the antenna to walk across, then lift it up. Which kind of seems dumb, because wouldn't that damage the antenna? But, you know what? I'm, I'm not here for logic, okay? I'm here for games. Oh my god. He's gonna close his eyes and walk across a bridge. Hello. Do not be afraid. I come in peace. What the hell are you? You're so ugly! Well, in my world, I'm quite a handsome guy, but I can understand why you wouldn't be able to see that. You're not really used to seeing people with my shape. You don't have any corners! That's- that's really weird. Well, that was a nice introduction. Shall we move on, or would you like to keep insulting my appearance? I'm here to act as a peace ambassador. My superiors have already made contact. I'm very happy to finally meet one of your species. Even if I did expect someone a little more, um, polite. Your world is exactly how our old explorers told it would be. All shapes square. It's amazing. All these colors, too. It's a beautiful place. Colors? Well, what do you mean? There are only three colors. Black, white, and gray. What? No, look around you. The world is bursting with different colors. Reds, greens, blues, yellows. Can you not see them? What are you talking about? Everything is gray. Don't make fun of me. According to cube law, you should... Well, what's happening? What are you doing? There... Where are the... Where are the lights coming from? How are you doing this? How dare you do this right before my favorite show? It's... I have nothing to do with this, I swear. Don't come near me. Stay away. I have a metal bar and I'm not afraid to use it. I don't want to hurt you. Stay calm. Go away. Go away. Oh shit, I fell off the roof. We're fine. We're a box. Ah, it hurts! Are you okay? I'm coming down to help you. This isn't what I expect- Wow! This is really pretty! This isn't what I expected. These can't be the people I'm supposed to meet. Did I go to the wrong planet? I should contact Central right away and then help that poor guy. Better contact Central. Oh no, the spaceship didn't like the forced landing. All those blinking lights don't look good. Maddie, what's going on? Give me a status report. The spaceship landed three meters higher than predicted. The damage isn't irreversible, but it's not great. Body condition, 90%. Cosmetic damage, that doesn't matter. Engine condition, 60%. Okay, that's not so good. Ignition system, 10%. That's bad. I think we have to repair that before we can take off. In layman's terms, yes. I've been on this planet five minutes and everything's gone wrong already. I haven't got time to be looking at the machines. I need to send a message to headquarters. Maddie, I need to contact the central. Initiate emergency protocol code 4. To initiate an emergency code, I need your emergency password. Is it the same as the landing password? No, it is not. Pinball is, is still cool? No. <laughs> Three tries remaining before self-destruction. Seriously, that's such an overreaction. Crepes are better than pancakes. No. Two tries remaining. Mission impossible. No. One try remaining. I don't remember it. This is an emergency. I need to send a message right now. Do you need to recover your password? Recover my password? I said it's an emergency. Just let me make the call. You have to recover your password first. You'll have to solve simple puzzles to get a new password. Can I not just check a circle or something to prove I'm not a robot? No, this is a secure system. This is the only way. May I remind you, this is an emergency. You don't have to remind me. I'm an AI. I never forget anything. Seriously, what's wrong with you? 
Nothing is wrong with me. I don't forget passwords. Ugh, low blow, Maddie. Fine, let's see these puzzles. Oh god, is this a math puzzle? Six times six is thirty-six. Okay, two times eleven is... Yeah, so two times two times eleven is twenty two, six times six is thirty six, eight times five, I think. No, not eight times five. Eight times Well it wouldn't be eight times seven, because eight times seven isn't that fifty six. Don't judge me, I'm doing math, okay? Yeah. So you can't put eight into fifty eight. So maybe I'm not thinking about this right. Oh god, is this a math based puzzle? Uh, oh lord. This isn't going to be good for me. 94. So it's not it's not like a simple math-based puzzle where I can just be like, "Oh, it's just is it 10?" What do you mean? Oh. I was thinking about it in the wrong way. It's addition. So 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 plus... T but then 6 plus 2 is... Eight. Wait, what? 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 Is it supposed to be like what 8... What you need to do to get 8 and... Maybe it's 14? Got it. Now give me the password. First puzzle completed. Two puzzles remaining. Seriously, this is what happens when you let engineers handle field work. Three puzzles in an emergency? Who has time for three old puzzles? Well, maybe this will teach you not to forget your password. So it's this is also simple addition. Shit. But it goes over. What? Oh god, this is worse than before. Um. Each side of the pie likes to be added to its opposite. What? 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 What do you mean? Like opposite, like diagonally cross? Ten. Ten and fourteen make. Oh my god. I am so not good with math based puzzles. I'm not good at these. Yo, if you were ever, if if there was ever. Each slice of the pie likes to be added to is opposite. I don't even know what that means. I literally don't know what that means. Do you mean like opposite across? Oh my god, what the hell? What the hell? Because there's no additives here. I mean, is it seven? Oh my god, what the f- Not gonna swear. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just said, I'm not gonna swear, and then I'm like, fucking shit. <laughs> okay. Seven? Well, six plus four is ten. Eight? What do you want? What do you mean? <laughs> like, there's no patterns here that I can see. <sighs> oh my god. You- 
has anyone ever been in grade school and like you were ever in math class and then you just started sitting there and like your teacher would write equations on the board and then you just started crying because you instantaneously knew that you wouldn't be able to solve it that was me that was me as a child guys this is giving me some serious elementary school flashbacks can i have a hint like i don't know i just don't know what you mean i just don't know what you mean and there's supposed to be, it likes to be added to as opposite. That makes no sense. Nothing is being added here. The only thing that I can see that that correlates is this. What the hell? How, <laughs> I just guessed. <laughs> what? Oh my god, I literally guessed, guys. I was like, I'm just gonna start spamming numbers into the system here. Ha, ah, turns out I'm better at this than I thought. If you're a spherical person, you took significantly longer than average to reach the solution. I solved in under a microsecond. Quit bragging, please. I'm not- I'm an explorer, okay? I'm not an engineer. Slices have different colors. Try to add values of the same color together. But that doesn't make sense because I don't see where it's getting... Like, 5 and 25. What does that mean? So, we've got 30 here. Oh my god. I'm, I'm trying. Gang, I am trying. So, we've got 30 for the green... For yellow, we have also 30? Oh, and then 19 and 11, is that also 30? Probably. I'm too stupid, though, so I'm just going to do the math for it. Yeah, so we have to figure out what's going to get up to 30, so I'm also just going to, you know, do the... Have someone else do the math for me on that one. Okay. I'm... Like, I'm not even kidding... I am that type of person that they're like, you know, when you go to the store and you have to, you have to, no, not the store, I'm sorry. When you go out to a restaurant and you have to add on a tip, I literally, if the machine doesn't calculate for me, I will literally take out my calculator and do it myself. I cannot do any math, absolutely, whatsoever, in my head. <laughs> Pizza cookie. Okay. Major Edward reporting, what's your emergency ambassador? Sir, I have reason to believe I've landed on the wrong planet, requesting immediate evacuation. Negative ambassador, according to our calculations, you should have ran, landed right on the meeting point. Why do you suspect you're in the wrong place? Maybe because I landed on a house? A house, a house, and a town. Impossible, what are your coordinates? Then you should be in the right place. Wait, is it possible I landed on the wrong face? Which face did you land? How should I know, the one with the lunatic cubes? Who can't see the colors? Wait, what did you say? I met one of the cute people and while he couldn't see colors, he wasn't happy either. Then again, a UFO landed on his roof, so I suppose he had a right to be upset. Hmm. Well, those definitely aren't the people you're supposed to be meeting with. What should I do then? You need to find the correct side of the planet where the meeting point is. Of course, but which way should I go? I don't know, just flip a coin. Easy for you to say, the engines are down. You'll find a way, Ambassador. This is the worst mission I've ever been on. Good luck, Ambassador. Let us know when you find them. Call ended. Wait, if I'm leaving the ship behind, how do I contact them? Your smartwatch. You can use it to make calls. Oh, I've been using it to play pinball this whole time. You are hopeless. You can use it to contact me if you get stuck and need help. You don't need to remember another one. Just press the button. Okay, so I got a survival kit. What the heck is down there? Okay, so we have to abandon our ship, I guess. That's fine, though. You know, right? That's fine. Okay. Hello, sir. Sorry, I apologize for breaking. This is what's really happening. They're being brainwashed. 
I apologize for breaking your house via your window. I'm gonna leave right away. Sir? Mr. Q? Hello? He's not moving at all. Is he hypnotized by his TV? The box he's staring at, it seems to be drawing a cup of light from his body. Unfortunately, it doesn't work on me. It just gives me square eyes. What's wrong with this planet? Are they draining their color from them? And that's why they can only see things in gray? Okay. I'm gonna turn down that music a little bit there, governor. Hello? This is really pretty. This is really, really pretty. This is so nice to look at. Like, I can't even emphasize how nice this is to look at. Are you okay? Well, it could be better. At least I'm not dead. Do you realize that your neighbor's TV is sucking in all the colors from his brains? Ugh, what are you talking about? He was probably just watching TV. Quit lying, you weird round alien thing. Is everyone on this planet as grumpy as you? Trust me, compared to my neighbor, I'm a very chilled out guy. I can't tell what he was like, to be honest. He wasn't very talkative when I saw him. Anyway, I'm supposed to be meeting with a community of people just like you. They're cubes, but they're not based in a town like this one. I was expecting you to land near mountains. Do you know where I need to go? Mountains? Wait, are you saying you want to meet with the traitors? Okay, so you know them. Can you show me the way? Of course not. I've never been anywhere near them, and I won't. Well, I could still use you as, you got, as a guide. What? I can't even walk right now. My leg is in agony. I just fell off a roof. I need you to help me. Trust me, you have no idea how important this is. Look, I might be able to help you find your way, but the fact is, I don't want to. I just want to watch my favorite show. But you ruined it by landing your stupid round spaceship on my antenna. And I am so hungry right now. Give me some chips. Okay, hang on. I might be able to do something about that. You want a cookie? I don't think you deserve it, but this is my last cookie. You can take it. Is it edible? It's round? I don't want your alien food. Do you, do you have anything normal to eat? Please just eat it before I change my mind. Not bad. Not bad. Goodbye, my last cookie. You deserve better. Please tell me it at least made you feel better. Yes, but my leg. I don't think I can walk. Hmm. Well, I have no choice, it seems. Hey, don't touch me. Sorry, but I need to bring you with me. Hey, put me down! And why are you so strong? This is what happens when you don't spend your entire life sitting around watching TV. Now, which way should we go? I don't want to leave. I said put me down! I don't want to go anywhere with you! Trust me, I'm doing this for your own good. My own good? You're stopping me from watching my favorite show. How can this be for my own good? This show? What is it about? I'm curious. Oh, well, it's a TV show. Mm. It's very successful. I've been watching it for years. And what's it about? I... I don't remember. I've been watching it every day for years, but I don't remember what it's all about. Ha, <laughs> just as I suspected. Something strange is going on here. Help me complete my mission. Guide me to these traitors. Together, we can uncover the truth. Looks like I can't stop you from taking me away. Follow the ad panel as they lead the way out of town. Okay. Hey, you're not gonna kill me, right? <laughs> don't be stupid. You're my friend, QB. It's C432632, not QB. Names don't have numbers in. It's way too hard to remember anyway. I'm gonna call you QB. My name's Alfred, by the way. That's a really weird name, Alfred. Says the guy who has numbers in his name. Come on, QB, let's get out of here. This guy's hypnotized too. QB, close your eyes. We don't want you getting hypnotized again. My name is not QB, and I want to see what he's watching. Trust me, whatever it is, it's not worth getting hypnotized over. You have to speak to the guard anyway. We need an authorization code to leave town. I need to request a PA4 4 form, complete it, and then the guard will issue me with an exit code. That exit code allows me to fill out the AD8YM. All the documents should be fully stamped and ready to go within about three months. Three months? We need to get out of here now. I'm in a hurry. I'm not leaving without a stamped AD8YM. Let's say I own a stamp that says approved by Alfred. Will that be enough for us to leave? Your stamp has no value here. What are you thinking? Just what I thought. Too bad. I don't care. Come on, QB. We're going on an adventure. No! <laughs> QB didn't ask for this. I feel so bad. C423987, what's the emergency? I've been trying to contact you for hours, sir. I've been in meetings, the curse of management. What's the situation? Look at this. Do you see the red light that bl that's blinking? A red light? I haven't seen one before. Who is the C432632? 
According to our files, he's a totally normal citizen. Big fan of the dice. We're sure he's not one of the box of tears? 100%. He's a TV addict. I'm telling you, he's glued to the box 24-7. Strange? Give me every detail you have. Do we have a visual on his house? Yes, and you won't believe it's on his roof. It's something really weird. It's a very strange shape. No corners. No straight edges. I've never seen anything like it. If I didn't know better, I'd say it was a spaceship. Hmm. According to the records, he reported that his antenna had been damaged. That ship must have caused it. He's been without TV for over an hour. This is bad. Call the dice. Right away. We can't have a rogue citizen on the loose who's discovered the truth. And don't breathe the word of this to anyone else. According to Cubla 8Y7.2, the person who discovered the problem should always be the one to make the report to the dice. True, but... As the manager, wouldn't it be better for you to make the report? What did I just say? Law 8Y7.2. But the dice won't want to talk to a lowly person. Besides, I don't even remember his number. It's been years since I did basic training, and I never thought I would actually need to call him. Ugh, it's 3423. Three. Call right away, and don't argue when I give you orders. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. I can't believe I'm calling the big boss. <laughs> My palms are sweating. <laughs> it's ringing. Yes. Hello, is this the DICE's office? My name is C423987. I am working in the antenna server room. We have something of a dilemma here. We just noticed that a citizen's antenna has stopped working. We're quite sure he didn't watch TV today. What? And we can't find him, sir. He literally disappeared. Please don't be angry. I'm just the messenger. You come to me. On an ordinary work day, and you report to me that your system has failed. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry, sir. A citizen has gone rogue, and my entire empire is under threat. I cannot allow this. The problem isn't my fault, or anyone else in the departments. Please, just let me explain the situation. I have been known as the Dice for many years. I have ruled this place for just as long. And in all these years, this is the first time anyone has ever come to me with a problem. He literally disappeared. Do you understand how unacceptable this is? I I'm sorry, I'm simply making a report. The antenna is broken because something without corners crashed on his roof. Without corners? Do you mean something spherical? Spherical? Yes, spherical, round, no corners, and no straight edges. Send me the video. Yes, sir. Do yourself a favor. Do not mention this to anyone if you value your life. It would end badly for you if word were to get out. I, I will do that. Thank you for tr- I can't stand wasting my time with idiots. I have a very important call to make. Dear leader, we have a situation. I'm less- Is this the Illuminati? <laughs> oh my god! What is happening in this game? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! What is going on? What is going on? The shapes are in a conspiracy. Is there a Romulus that's just gonna come out of nowhere? That's just gonna be like, I'm your god now. <laughs> I'm listening. Ooh, this is getting good. This is getting so good. At first, I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to play a game that's entirely in black and white, but this is really good. Chapter 1. A game by Galasso Games. Wait, is this the end? Is this the end? You can't tell me that- Oh my god, this is the end. No! Are you serious? <laughs> oh my god, it is! Okay, so this was just the first chapter of the game. Well, this was a really cool game. I like the idea of it. The idea of using shapes as characters is just something that's so interesting to me. Um, the use of color in this game is pretty fantastic. Uh, aside from the math-based puzzles, which I don't like because I'm just stupid. So I, I really like that. So that was really interesting. So this has been Antenna Dilemma. Um, if you want to check out uh, some of uh, Glosso Games' other games, I recommend checking out Inspector Waffles. I believe that you can get that on itch.io as well. Um, but I'm just going to take us right to our outro. 
We've come to the end of this game, and although it was short, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. As a reminder, you can grab Antenna Dilemma for free on Steam and itch.io now. Thanks for watching this episode of Indie Power Hour. Be sure to follow us on Twitter for future episodes.